The resolution would extend the use of parking lots for outdoor dining for another year while looking into the impact that it has on parking. And it's something that has a lot of restaurant owners talking. It really did um, save, save us because people felt safe coming out, um, dining outside with the uh, COVID going on. Dick Franio is the owner of Boatyard Bar and Grill in Annapolis. Like many restaurants in the city, he started using his parking lot for outdoor dining when the city allowed it under the emergency COVID declaration. We had a tent outside. We had beautiful Naval Academy flags and palm trees, and it was really great. People loved it. And they could bring their dogs because it's outside, and it, it was really a, a wonderful thing. Right now, the restaurants cannot do that once the state of emergency runs out. But it's clear that people want that. Mm -hmm. We have to change the code to accommodate that. Ross Arnett is the alderman for the 8th Ward in Annapolis. He recently introduced a resolution that would extend outdoor dining in private and city parking lots for one year. And during that time, it would initiate a study to determine the impact that outdoor dining will have on parking in the area. He thinks outdoor dining is great, but parking in the area is also important. It's wonderful, but there have to be rules and there has to be a balance because these are in neighborhoods where people also need to park their cars when they come home from work. For me as a legislator, this is a balancing act between a lot of competing forces. And that's something Franio agrees with. He wants to keep setting up his tents, tables and chairs for people to eat and enjoy the weather, but says he also understands the parking issue. He says he's hoping the resolution passes so they can figure out a way to sort it all out. I think there's a great um, a demand for it. I think it has to be done in a sensible way. Um, again, the, the, the big effect is on the parking and, and it's got to be done the right way. The city council how, is talking about is, is smart. You know, allow it this year and then take this time and do a study and, and get it right. A vote is expected on April 11th, which is the same day that the emergency declaration here in Annapolis ends. In Annapolis, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL-TV 11 News.